Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to the Critter Room. Hope you guys are all doing good. Uh, so I had a couple questions from my ECC friends and they were asking about frogs and I happen to have quite a lot of frogs uh, in here. So we're gonna take a look at some frogs today. Uh, up first is one of my favorites. This is an Australian green tree frog, um, also known as a white frog or a dumpy frog. It goes by a lot of different names. Um, he's right down there. His name is Kermit, actually. Um, I've had him for quite a while. He does have white spots on his back. Sometimes they do have speckles. Um, he is perfectly fine, though. And he is a tree frog, which means that he spends a lot of his time up in trees. You can see he's got those awesome uh, sticky pads on his toes uh, that allow him to climb on just about everything. And if you see a bunch of crickets climbing around, I did just feed everybody, hoping to entice them to come out and show themselves for the camera. So frogs are amphibians, which means that they spend part of their life in water and part of their life on land. Um, these guys are a Cuban tree frog, which can be found all over Cuba and some of the other Caribbean islands, as well as parts of Florida. And being an amphibian, they all have very moist skin. You can see the frog does look wet, and indeed they are wet. They've all got nice water bowls that they can put swimming in. They like to soak in themselves. And frogs start out as a tadpole. Now I've heard some of you have been looking at some tadpoles. I don't have any tadpoles at the moment. However, frogs would start their lives off in something very similar to this. They would be laid uh, as an egg uh, on a plant that's right by the water. Oh, did you guys just see the one hopping around? We'll take a look at another one. But they start off as an egg in the water and then they hatch and they kind of look like a fish. They've got a big bulbous body and a short little tail. And eventually they grow legs and they hop out of the water. Let's see if we can find this guy. This guy is our, my biggest frog. There he is. Um, he is an African pixie frog. We're looking at his back right now. And he is chowing down on crickets. He eats quite a lot, as you can imagine, for being such a large frog. Let's see if I can get a, it might be upside down, but we'll see if we can get a picture of his face. Um, so he is an African bullfrog, or also known as a pixie frog, which is kind of funny. Um, pixies, we usually think of Tinkerbell, right? And he is definitely no Tinkerbell. These guys are really cool, though. They live in Africa by the watering holes, the same watering holes that you find zebras and lions and everything else. And what they do is they're awake for half the year and for the other couple months, they go into a brumation, similar to a hibernation, but they will dig themselves a burrow in the, the muddy river bank and dig way down deep and make a little cave and they sleep for a couple months until the rains come back. Um, just like we have four seasons here, right? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Uh, Africa has two seasons. They have the dry season and the rainy season. So for the dry season, again, frogs need moisture. So these guys go and they hide out. And when it starts to rain again, they come back up and that's when they, they lay their eggs and have their tadpoles. And these guys are actually really good froggy moms. Um, they will watch their eggs, watch their tadpoles, and if the uh, pond or stream that they laid their eggs in that their tadpoles are now swimming in starts to dry up they'll actually use their big back legs uh, to dig a channel connecting two ponds together so that they can get more water which I think is pretty cool most frogs are really not good moms uh, but the African bullfrogs are now let's see if we can find this guy he is hiding with that little green head right there is a baby African pixie frog. That's a, he is much, much, much smaller, but he is going to get very, very large. Um, and you can see how they bury themselves in the muck. This one is a pixie, uh, not a pixie frog. This one is an albino Pac-Man frog uh, from Argentina. Um, and these guys are cool. I have an adult one that I'm going to show you in a minute. So I can clean one. Let's see, is he out? Oh, he's out too. So this is why I feed everybody. That way you can see them all. This is 
adult Pac-Man frog. And again, you can see this guy is very large. He's about the size of a baseball. The other guy was about, oh, maybe the size of a ping pong ball. So very small. Uh, and you can see, hopefully you've noticed that all of the frogs like to be very, very moist. They like, we'll come back over. Oh, we'll come back over by the bullfrog. He's cool. Uh, they like to be very moist. You can see he's got a big spot to go swimming, some land, some plants. Uh, and this is how they like it. They like it kind of swampy, um, moist. They don't like to be in the sun a lot because then they dry out. But those are our frogs. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I think you'll be coming back soon uh, to learn about some insects. So I hope you guys stay well and have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, everybody.